now. I want to go to recess appointments. I know that you have called for, you believe there should be the immediate resignation of the Labor Relations Board members uh, and the, the recess appointments that the President made. But I want to ask you about the ruling itself. It was much broader than, frankly, the lawsuit you guys brought. Was it, it too was broad? It was a breathtaking decision. It basically said that what the president and the Congress have been doing since about 1867 is unconstitutional. And what it really says that's is that's scary, be, by the way. It, well, no, it's a, not. A, that a court is saying <laughs> this. That's a, over 100 years of well, potential that's a good, precedent. It suggests it's a good thing we have courts. What it's really saying that in this day and time, we don't need any recess appointments because they were created by the founders for a time when Sam Houston had to take a steamboat and a stagecoach and, and a horse to Washington to be a senator. And there were large gaps between the session in one year and the session in the next year. It basically said recess appointments are only for the recess between annual sessions for vacancies that occurred during that time. And today there's, I mean, there's, but let's not, Senator, there's, let's look, there's, you there's know, no recess. Can, that means though, a president of one party could be in the White House, get elected. There could be a, par, a political party that controls the Senate on the other side. And because of this, no re so then the president has no recourse if that United States Senate of an opposite party of the president decides, you know what, we're shutting down the confirmation process because, frankly, you know that that can be done. Is that, I mean, it, it, you know, th there are no recourse at all for the executive branch here? Yeah, the next election is the recourse for the executive branch. Well, that I could don't be recall. four years. You could hold up cabinet appointments. That you could, could be hold up cabinet years. appointments for four years. It could be two years. Yeah, of course it could. I mean, the founders put that in the Constitution. There are about, they're, they're about uh, 1,100 positions in the whole government, which says require advice and consent. That's Article 2, Section 2 of the United States Constitution. It's there for a purpose. I was nominated by the first President Bush to be Education Secretary. The Senate held me up for three months. I didn't like it, but they did it, and they had a right to do it. So the President has to keep sending people until he finds someone uh, who can gain the support of the Senate. That's one of the checks we have against an imperial presidency. So you hope the Supreme Court upholds this broad ruling that basically eliminates recess appointments? Well, I do, but I don't, I doubt they will. What I suspect they will do is narrow the decision at least to say that the president can't decide when the Senate's in session. The Senate can decide. And as long as the right. Senate can decide when it's in session, there won't be any recess appointments because we'll be in session all the time to prevent them.